Hey guys, welcome to Appalachia's Homestead. We're gonna finish the three sisters today. I'm gonna have to go ahead and plant my beans and my squash on the same day. I think it'll be okay simply because the squash is gonna be down around the mounds. Now we talked about this in the last video, so if you've never planted the three sisters, check out the video I'm gonna put up here or down below pinned at the top for you to view because we're gonna finish it up. So we're getting in here right now. We're going to be doing some tilling and pulling some dirt and checking our potatoes. But I did check one yesterday. We still have about 30 days left on our plants. But I want to show you how it's progressing. There's some morning glories and a few little things down here. So we're down here working on it. So let's, I'm going to pull this bad boy and let's see what we find. Let's see how they're doing. Okay, so I planted Yukon Golds. Pull all this away. And uh, what I'm gonna, so this is, this is just how I do. I mean, this is, this is how I know to pull my potatoes, which they're not ready yet, but I'm gonna come in. Let's see how they're progressing. Oh gosh, come on, baby. Okay, so there is the seed potato right there. You see it on the plant? Okay, so I'm gonna get down in here. <gasps> Woohoo! Y'all, we've already struck some gold, look at that. All right, let's just pull away. So again, these still have about 30 days, but check it out. We are definitely to the second plant in and uh, cause I pulled this yesterday and we are doing just fine. We have not had a lot of rain uh, in the past several weeks. So they had some moisture at first and we went for it. Looks like that just got about four there. And uh, well, you never know down in here. Hang on, hang on, hang on. There she is. Alrighty, so you can see I've got several mounds. I know it's hard to see in the video the mounding because it all just looks like dirt. So I hope that perspective right there kind of helps you with what I'm talking about. Now you can see not every one of my corn came up. That's just going to happen. That's why you plant extra. I'm gonna have to come in and probably pull, gently pull the weaker of the two in my circle of my corn. Okay, let's check this one out too. See, not all the corn came up. That's expected to happen there. Okay, so my last video, I told you that I was gonna be planting rattlesnake. I realized I may have not had enough. So I wanna thank Seed Savers Exchange. Guys, they're awesome with true uh, heirloom seeds, especially here in the East. They've got a wonderful variety. Okay, so these are the true Trail of Tears heirloom beans. So I've weeded, pulled my corn, thinned it out. Oh, whoa, 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 I missed one, missed one. We're going for it. Got it. What I'm gonna do around each one of these corn, little baby stalks, aren't they precious? We're gonna plant the beans. And I wanna show you these, they're black. See that? All right, so we're planting. I'm actually gonna plant six. I'm gonna plant six. Because you don't know what's gonna come up. We're gonna be watering this big time and trying to really ensure that it comes up. We're fighting the heat at this time. You never know what the weather is going to do. So we are definitely up against summer heat. So I'm just going right around each of these, uh, and I'll put more dirt on it, each one of these and getting them literally planted. So again, you want your corn first because you want it to grow and establish with some roots and get some height on it. And now we're coming in with the beans.
Okay, so we have all of the beans planted around each corn stalk. I actually did a few extra. Then I've come in and I put some more dirt on the mound just to make sure it's secure. Now I'm gonna go in around the mounds and I'm gonna plant my squash. And I'm gonna do butternut squash. I'm gonna plant at least six seeds around each mound. I may try to do eight to 10 because again, you don't know what's gonna come up. So it's best to plant a few extra and then you can thin them out later. It's getting hot. Let's get planting. So we're in the final phase here. Did a little trench around each mound. My mounds, I'm making sure they're really secure, coming up good, planted the beans. I'm going ahead and doing my squash. Technically, you probably should wait a couple days to do your squash, but like I said, you can see it's so hot, we're going for it. So I have put them around each mound. Now it says to do, you know, you're normally told about eight. I'm gonna tell you I did eight, I did about 10 to 12, because you don't know what's gonna come up. You can always thin things later. I also ran out of uh, my butternut squash seeds. So I have come in with small pie pumpkins on the last two mounds. It's okay, it's all right. You can do pumpkins, you can do a squash as long as it is a vining variety. I'm gonna cover these up. I'm probably gonna put some of that old hay on them so it helps to hold the moisture in since we're not gonna get rain for at least another week, okay? So think about that. You can also put fertilizer on them and technically you would wanna put fish, uh, a fish or a fish head right in the center of this mound to feed it, okay? But we will come back with something. We're gonna get it in, we're gonna get it watered and we're really gonna look forward to this. We'll keep you posted. I've got more pumpkins to plant sunflowers, all kinds of things. We hope you're doing well. We appreciate you watching the Appalachia's Homestead. We have all kinds of information and videos coming your way. And yes, I will sit down and do the great Appalachian Homesteading Conference video as soon as we get this garden planted. Farm comes first. We love y'all. Thanks for watching. We'll see you on the next video.